Roddy McKay is a third-party developer who's been making his own EverWeb widgets for many years. For EverWeb's responsive page layout, Roddy has created a variety of responsive widgets to suit every need. In this video, I'm going to look at the responsive scroll sidebar widget from the responsive column and grids widget pack. The responsive scroll sidebar widget combines a main section that can include a heading, image and text with a customizable scroll bar that can include multiple sections and links. As you can see, the widget is fully responsive. Let's take a closer look at how to create the example shown on screen. First, create a new blank responsive page, then drag and drop the responsive scroll sidebar widget onto the page. You will see an empty box at the top of the page. Using the widget settings, I'm going to add a heading. Next, I want to add an image, so I'm going to tick the show image checkbox and add my image. Add in alt text for SEO purposes. Adjust the image size as you want using the slider. Next, enter the text that you want to go under the main image. When finished, scroll down the widget settings and enter the heading that you want to use for the sidebar. You add the sidebar contents using the assets list. First, click on the add button and enter a name for the first sidebar article. Next, add a title for the first article in the headings box below the assets list. Then the text of the article in the text box. Ideally, you will want your visitor to go to the page the sidebar article refers to by clicking on the button associated with the article. Name this button using the link text field. Enter the fully qualified URL of the page you want to go to in the URL field. Check the new window field if you want the clicked on button to open the page in a new browser window. Now add the second article to the sidebar. Again, start by using the add button below the asset list and enter a new name for the article. Complete the heading, text, link text and URL fields as you want. To edit the contents of any of the sidebar fields, first click on the relevant asset in the asset list to select it, and then change the field as required. Add the remainder of the sidebar articles that you want. Remember that eventually you may not see all of the sidebar articles once you reach the bottom of the widget. When you preview or publish, you will scroll the sidebar to see those that are not visible. With the widget contents complete, let's now style the widget. Scroll down to the main style section. First, select the font that you want to use. In my example, I'm going to use Avenir Next. If you are using a Google font, tick the Google font box. The fallback font is used if your preferred font is not available on a visitor's browser. In this case, the web safe font Helvetica would be used instead. Adjust the size of the heading and text for the main section. Now go to the sidebar section of the widget settings. Use the width slider to change the width of the sidebar. Change the sidebar header font size and color and set the background color. Next, in the sidebar items section, I'm going to set the border and separator width and color options to make it easier for visitors to see the individual articles. I'm going to add a link border of one so that my link button is easier to see. Finally, I'm going to go to the wrapper style section and set a wrapper around the objects within the widget. Once you have styled the widget, preview to test how the widget looks before publishing. For more information on Roddy McKay's third-party widgets, check out his EverWeb Widgets website at www.everwebwidgets.com.